All right, guys, in this episode, John is joined by Mike of SOB Tactical, and they are going to talk about team tactics when it comes to fighting and delivering medical aid. Hey, I'm Mike Voiko, the SOB Tactical Medic. The best medicine on the battlefield is superior firepower. So while the firefight's going on, if you're wounded, you need to move to cover and do self-aid. As you see, he's applying his own tourniquet at this time to himself. Okay, he indicated to me that his tourniquet is in place. Hey buddy, you okay, Gavin? Yeah. You with me? Okay, I see you applied a tourniquet. You heard anywhere else? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and expose this wound, see what we got, we got a wound there, tourniquet. Gavin, you okay? Yeah, I'm here. I'm going to measure two to three inches for proper tourniquet placement. Alright, let's go. We got about a minute, we gotta go, Doc. Put a turn. We only got a couple minutes, Doc. Gotcha. I'm gonna go ahead and release this tourniquet. I'm gonna leave it in place. I still have hemorrhage control at the, at the wound. Coming up, I'm gonna go ahead and disarm casualty. You don't wanna have an armed casualty. He who knows what he might do with his weapon. And it's on safe. Gavin, you still with me? Yes, sir. I have a strong radio, strong pro, uh, product pulse, and he's breathing one every two seconds. I'm going to go ahead and expose the chest. Now in today's day and age with uh, body armor, this part is covered with a chest plate. So we're pretty sure he didn't get hit there, but I'm looking, I can see some bleeding. So you want to make sure and check his armpits. Go ahead and expose. I see a wound there. I'm going to use the casualties individual first aid kit. I'm going to get out a halo chest seal. This is a non-vented chest seal, but it's one sticky customer. You don't want these things coming off. I'm going to look. Apply it center mass of the wound. I'm going to go onto his back. Doc, we got a minute. We got All right. about a minute. We got to go. I can go. I can do this. Where there's an entry, there's usually an exit. See a hole there? Clap it on, no air. Doc, we got 30 seconds. We gotta go. Doing a blood switch. Go. Looking for further wounds. I'm gonna call my litter team at this time. We gotta go. We're gonna get ready to evac. Get security to give we that up. Go. We ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, we just wanted to take a quick second to talk about lessons learned here. First and foremost, you can't save somebody if you don't control the situation, right? And the situation in the gun, the gunfight always depends on, right, controlling the situation because it's not any good helping somebody if we're all going to die. Right, and self-aid is paramount. You need to save yourself. Nobody else is going to save yourself. If you have the ability, you need to get your own tourniquet on. You need to move to cover and save yourself. I can't move to you if I'm getting shot. It's no good if I'm dead or wounded too. Then we have two people injured. Uh, injuries, you always want to expose everything. You want to look in back body armor. I, how I said, look in here, make sure to check those spots. I'm Mike Voiko, the SOB Tactical Medic. Rock on. Rock on. Slating, scene four, take, I believe, seven? Nine. Nine? nine. Okay, close enough. Scene nine. <laughs> that was for you, man. <laughs> okay, we'll do it live. Here it comes. All right. Okay, here we go. Speeding it. All right, here we go. Science. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters. Lock Perfection. Velocity Systems. Mayflower Research and Consulting. Lucid Optics. Bravo Company USA. 
Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, Christensen Arms, Silencer Co., Primary Weapon System, Law Tactical, Nemo Arms, Flint River Armory, and ammunition provided by Gorilla. We would like to dedicate today's show to the men and women of the United States military and law enforcement. The people that stand in the gap and keep our country free. God bless America.